This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Court to hear the uniform syllabus case tomorrow. This after the state government filed an appeal against the High Court order. A suicide note tells the story of a 19-year-old hanging himself since he was allegedly threatened by hotel staff to repay stolen money. The Chief Minister makes her first visit on Tuesday to meet the Prime Minister after assuming office. Will the Congress Alliance be Jayalalitha's next target? A whooping number of criminals busted per week in Chennai. Is the crime rate in Chennai reaching a new high? Calamity-hit areas are the focus for architects now to help rebuild communities with better design solutions. All set to rally through the state of Tamil Nadu, the daring southerners uh, hit the road on their mean machines. And actor Vijay is the next big superhero on the block. We bring you a sneak preview of Vela Yudham. Hello and welcome uh, to all our viewers to News Tonight. I'm Natasha Durai Swami. You're watching NDTV Hindu and lots coming your way on the bulletin. Jayalalta's various special visits. On to the, uh, one to the Chief Justice of the Madras High Court, of course, and uh, the other to the Prime Minister coming up. Uh, also, a hotel staff member commits suicide at the Severa. We get you the latest details, including the contents of his suicide note. And, of course, all the news from the world of sport as well. But first, the national headlines. Australia admits an error in a government website excluding the whole of Jammu and Kashmir and Arunachal Pradesh from the India map. The RSS is providing logistical support to agitations. Pranab Mukherjee says if 5,000 people support one, ju does not uh, justify these things. Baba Ramdev says the battle is not over after NDA and spiritual leaders convince him to end his fast. Was it? was a teenage girl raped and killed by police in their compound in Uttar Pradesh as the family alleges. J. Dev's family to get police protection, the Maharashtra government announces a day after he was gunned down. And world champion Sebastian Vettel grabs the pole position for Red Bull. Narain Kartikeyan starts 23rd on the Canadian Grand Prix grid. A big story uh, this evening, of course, uh, from the political front. The Chief Minister Jalalta made a special visit to the Chief Justice M.Y. Iqbal of the Madras High Court at his residence on Greenways Road. The meeting was said to be just courtesy call as the Chief Justice had reportedly invited her uh, to, her, to his residence and the two are said uh, to have had a cordial conversation over high tea. Remember, this comes just a couple of days after the judgment on the uniform syllabus case was passed by the Madras High Court that went against the state government move to indefinitely postpone the implementation of the syllabus. Further to this, the state government filed an appeal in the Supreme Court against the High Court order, which is expected to be heard tomorrow. AIDMK Supremo and Tamil Nadu Chief Minister J. Jailalata will meet Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh on Tuesday during her first visit to Delhi after assuming office. Although Jailalata is expected to discuss issues like the Sri Lankan Tamil issue and also uh, uh, developmental projects, the visit comes at a time when the seven-year-old alliance between Congress and DMK is highly strained over assembly poll loss and also action against DMK leaders in the 2G scam. A nervous DMK will be looking also uh, to keep track really and keep a close watch on the talks between Jalalta and the Prime Minister. With big news coming in from the city of Chennai, a 19-year-old uh, boy, uh, Arun Kumar, hanged himself, hung himself really early this morning in the hotel uh, restroom of Savera. He has left a suicide note, uh, which is now uh, with the investigating inspector, where he has asked them to take care of his family uh, and uh, his, uh, especially his parents. His body is, has been taken to the Roy Betta General Hospital and uh, will be handed over to his parents after the post-mortem tomorrow. Police reports say that the hotel authorities had suspected the boy to have stolen a thousand rupees from the hotel uh, and uh, had been threatened to really hand him over to the police. The Frightened boy had committed suicide as per that suicide note. And our crime reporter Salim now joins us live on the phone line to give us uh, the details on this developing story. Uh, Salim, uh, really tell us uh, who is this boy and what really happened as per our sources. Uh, Natasha, the boy is 19 years old. Uh, 
uh, is working uh, in the housekeeping department uh, as far as the law and order inspector uh, in the royapeta police station who is the investigating officer in this case he is tight lipped about the case all that he says is the boy has written a suicide note and has not blamed anyone in a suicide note however they have moved the body to the royapeta government hospital for a post mortem examination meanwhile the boy's parents have arrived and uh, uh, the police say that post mortem will be conducted tomorrow morning and the body will be handed over to their parents only after the post mortem is done uh, we will come to know whether it's a case of homicide or whether it's a case of suicide well have you uh, also spoken to any of uh, the hotel staff the res remaining uh, hotel staff there and uh, have we heard any responses from them uh, of uh, this particular incident even the hotel staff that are tight lipped in this uh, uh, case natasha they say that the case is under police investigation and in turn the police say that only after the post mortem examination is over and after only after they get the report they will be in a position to tell uh, what has happened and uh, they say that the preliminary investigations are underway the police are actually conducting investigations with the hoteliers and the police say only after the preliminary investigation and the post mortem report they will be in a position to tell us what exactly has happened and who is responsible for his death all right uh, salim we'll be coming back to you for more developments uh, from this particular story uh, thanks so much for joining us a uh, 19 year old uh, boy there uh, arun kumar uh, who had hung himself early this morning in uh, the hotel's uh, restroom of uh, savera well moving on now for most of us occupational hazard uh, could often be the loss of a few thousand rupees worst case scenario would be getting fired not so for those uh, who work with dangerous weapons like the bomb squad their life is at risk uh, every time they head out added to that they are being denied risk allowances risk requesting anonymity some members from the bomb squad at the central railway station bear their injuries to our crime reporter sil If this central station is really the gateway for the south then the 25 RPF men stationed here are its lifeline for these men are specialists trained in bomb detection and disposal they risk their life and limb but are poorly paid men who risk their lives that we may be safe say they are poor cousins to members of bomb detection and disposal squad with the special protection group and the national security guards who are paid extremely well Sources say pay disparity is huge. The bomb detection and disposal squad with the special protection group responsible for the protection of the Prime Minister of India, other VVIPs and their immediate families are allegedly given an additional 50% more. Bomb squads with the National Security Guard are paid 25% more than their salary as compensation for their job related risks. But the same officer if posted to the Chennai Central Bomb Disposal Unit does not get any risk allowance also the bomb squad members say the tight fitting khaki worn with leather belts and thick boots that they are made to wear is uncomfortable and actually gets in the way during emergencies the bomb squads with the spg nsg and state commandos are allowed to wear safari suits whereas the bomb squad staff at the central railway station cannot do so will the imbalances be corrected in chennai with salim natasha duraiswami for ndtv hindu quite a sad situation there for those uh, who really uh, protect us every time we step into the central railway station right here in chennai well staying with safety and security in an effort to reduce uh, crime in the city the city police has arrested 84 rowdies and 55 criminals in the last one week alone the police are taking extreme measures to enforce law and order in the state As part of this program the police have also arrested Balaji a notorious gangster he has been involved uh, directly in about 3 murder cases 9 attempt murder cases and also 32 others the police are also investigating 393 other cases uh, and arrests and have also arrested 83 88 i beg your pardon for drunken driving however all that said and done is chennai's crime rate going up a notch and answering uh, that particular question Uh, was uh, Mr. Uh, Tamarai Kannan, uh, additional Commissioner of Police, Law and Order, and here's what he had to say. This doesn't speak of the increase of crime rate. It's more a preventive action. So the drive has been launched as a massive preventive action, which we have commenced, and we'll ensure that uh, Chennai becomes crime-free soon. We have just listed out all the active rowdy elements and criminals whom we think are potential threats to the city. 
and we have uh, just commenced our drive against them and uh, yesterday uh, the entire city police was mobilized and uh, all of us were on the streets to pick up these fellows who were creating trouble and uh, as part of that drive we have now arrested about 84 rowdy elements and 55 other uh, of offenders who were concerned in property cases Moving on to our national story now, outrage over the death of a 14-year-old girl in Lakhimpur, Uttar Pradesh. The teenager's body was found in the police compound itself. The family alleges the girl was raped and then murdered by the policeman. The cops, on the other hand, uh, say the girl committed suicide. Eleven cops have been suspended, including the station house officer. The girl's body has been sent for an autopsy. The girl, uh, Sonam's parents, uh, has, uh, have alleged that uh, she went missing on uh, Friday morning after she had taken the cattle for grazing. They, they discovered her body uh, next to a tree inside the police station compound. <laughs> बात किया था शायद किसी थाना का परिसर काफी बड़ा है उसी में किसी पेड़ में लटकी हुई डेड बॉडी मिली थी मैंने वहीं से इसकी खीरी से बात किया था वो खुद मौके पर गए थे वहां पर भी थाना अध्यक्ष को सस्पेंड किया 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 गया कि वहां हालांकि एग्जैक्ट थाने में नहीं है लेकिन उसी एरिया में है और उसने तीन व्यक्ति के खिलाफ लिखाई है मैंने कहा था कि उसका पोस्टमार्टम डॉक्टर के पैनल से करा दिया जाए उसमें देख लिया जाए और उसको खुले तौर पर हम देख रहे हैं कि उसने तो मर्डर की बात कही है रेप की बात कही है लेकिन अभी हमारी बात नहीं हो पाई है now special teams have been formulated to investigate the killing of crime journalist uh, J. Day uh, yesterday in Mumbai amid reports that he had got death threats. His family has now been given special pro police protection and the state uh, government has said uh, there will soon be something in place to give security to journalists. The police are also looking at CCTV footage of Crystal House which is opposite to the crime scene but the footage isn't very clear because it was raining heavily at the time. Meanwhile, the post-mortem report shows five bullets were pumped into him and one bullet that hit his shoulder did not come out. He died uh, due to this very bullet injury. The bullets have been sent for ballistic uh, ex examination to ascertain the weapon used. Time to go into a short break here on the bulletin, but coming up on the other side, a group of architects have come together to offer solutions that are unique and different for calamity-struck areas of Chennai. We tell you more on the other side.